Hello dear students, so this is a question number 5 of INMO 2024. In this we have given A1, A2, A3 lies on a circle T. So I assume A1, A2, A3 as A, B, C. Okay. And the circle, this is T that is circumcircle. And there is a point P in the same plane. So I assume this point as a here, P. So for I is equal to 1, 2, 3, tau I denotes a counterclockwise rotation of the plane centered at AI. So tau 1 means we rotate the plane about A1, tau 2 means A2 and tau 3 A3. And what we have to do, we have to rotate this point PI with respect to this relation or this result expression that is TI plus 2 TI TI plus 1 P. See if I put I is equal to 1, I will get tau 3 tau 1 tau 2 and from here we get a point P1. So you just make a rough diagram for P. So first it transform or first rotate about B by an angle that is B, right? And then we rotate this point P dash if I say about A because after tau 2 we got a tau 3 tau 1 P dash. So we rotate now about A. So we got a point let's say p double dash after p double dash we rotate this about point c by an angle c so let's say this is p1 so ultimately we got a point p1 okay now similarly we can find out p2 and p3 but what we have to do we have to relate the circum radius of p1 p2 p3 with the circum radius of a b c so we have to somehow relate the triangles ABC and P1, P2, P3. So as we rotate the point P, if we rotate the point B as well by the same transformation, if I say I want to transform or do the same operation for a point B. So what is tau 2B? We have to rotate the B point about B. So ultimately we got the same point B there. Right? And if I assume that AC is less than equal to BC is less than equal to AB. Okay. Without loss of generality, we can assume that AC is less than equal to BC less than equal to AB. Now what is tau 1B? Tau 1B means we have to rotate the point B about A. So as AC is less than AB, so we got a B dash point somewhere here, here, right? And what is B dash C length is? B dash C length is AB minus AC, right? So now we got a tau 3 B dash. So tau 3 B dash means we have to rotate this point B dash about C by an angle C. So we got a point that is on the line BC extended. So let's say this is B1. So ultimately we got a point B1. Let's say this is B1. <coughs> now if I join this P1 P length. So basically B1 P1 is a result of BP. Right. Similarly if I go for a point C. If I go for a point C. So tau 2 C means. We rotate the point C about B by an angle B in an anti-clockwise direction. So we got a point C on a line AB. Right? Me jo C hai, C ko agar aap rotate karoge that you will get a point on AB. Let's call this as C dash. And after the rotation of tau 1 you are rotating this c dash point with respect to a so you go to ac line let's say this is c double dash after c double dash when you rotate this c double dash about c in counterclockwise direction by angle c you ultimately go to the line cb 
so that is c1 so if i just join c1 p1 as well so p1 b1 c1 is the result of pcb result of pcb is p1 b1 c1 so the one thing that we can see that after the rotation if we take an any element let's see if i got a triangular element klm and whatever rotation i do the length of the elements remains same means kl km lm is same as well as the angle between them is same so if i say this angle and this angle must be equal if i say this is theta then this is also theta right so let's uh, first eliminate all the extra things here so that we can understand this more clearly Finally, that thing that we get is this thing, right? So P B C converted into P one B one C one. and the angle is same that is theta theta so and also pb length is the same as p1 b1 i hope there is no doubt in that that p1 b1 is equal to pb because in case of rotation the length of the line segment does not change so this is what we get so p1 b1 is equal to pb and theta is equal to theta if you see this Thetas are the alternate angles, right? So we can say that P one B one is parallel to P B line, right? P one B one is parallel to P B line, as well P one B one is equal to P B. So what we can conclude from here that P B one P one B is a parallelogram. P one B one P B is a parallelogram. We can join these as this. So even we can now remove this part also. This is we get. Now there is a one more thing that we know about the parallelogram. that the diagonals of a parallelogram bisect each other right the diagonals of a parallelogram bisect each other which is b1 b and p p1 so definitely the midpoint of p p1 lies on the line bc and can we find out this point x if i say this is a point x so it is a midpoint of b b1 and b b1 length is what b b1 length is b1 c plus b c and what is b1 c b1 c is uh, a b minus a c plus b c so then <coughs> what is bx bx is b b1 by 2 a b plus b c minus a c by 2 if you remember this expression this is nothing but yes ab plus bc minus ac by 2 this is the expression hai bachcho is it s minus b is it s minus b so it means this point jahan pe ye intersect kar raha hai it is the point uh, where the in circle touch the line touches the line bc 
right? So what we get here is If I draw in circle here, right? Then the P one point we get. Like here, as x is the midpoint of P, P1. Similarly, if, if we go for the same transformation, we got a P, P2 as a this way, right? And this point, let's say y is a midpoint, and similarly, and uh, one more thing is that P is not a in center here. P is not a in center here, and let's say this is P three, and let's say this point is Z. So X Y Z is our contact triangle. Contact triangle means जो X Y Z हमारे पास contact points हैं in center, in circle के उनसे जो triangle बन रही है, और जो triangle हमारे पास P one, P two, P three बनेगा. Is this similar to the triangle X Y Z? X Y Z triangle is similar to triangle P one, P two, P three because it is a double ratio. Means P X and X P one. If we see P X by P P one is equal to P Y by P P two, that is one by two. So we can say that. Lines are parallel, right? X Y is parallel to P one P two, X Z is parallel to P one P three, and Y Z is parallel to P two P three. So triangles are similar. So the ratio of radii of these two triangles, you see, if I say the radius of in circle is R, and the radius of in circle of A B C is R. And the radius of circum circle of X Y Z is R, right? Because X Y Z ka is circum circle hai, or A B C ka in circle hai. And if we assume P one P two three ka radius hai R one, circum radius. So R by R one is basically one by two. So R one is two R. So the circum radius of P one P two P three triangle is double of R. And we know that. Circum radius of ABC triangle is greater than equal to two R. Right, the circum radius of ABC is greater than equal to the twice of in radius. So this is a general result. You can prove this also. You can prove this result also that R is greater than equal to two R. I think then we <coughs> our proof means अपना fully proof हो जाएगा अगर हम ये भी चीज कर देते हैं r is greater than equal to two r so for that what we can do if you know the user result user result say that the d square is equal to R square minus two R into R, and what is D? D is the distance between in center and circum center. So clearly, this is greater than equal to zero. So R square is greater than equal to two R R means R is greater than equal to two R. Okay. So the proof of this is very easy. You can. See on the net, okay. So 
so that's how we can prove this in a some other way okay rather than the official solution i hope you got the all the solution that how to solve this one without using that contact point because that is a very i think uh, it's not very intuitive to find that point okay so thank you guys